Hey guys, welcome to Old Iron Garage. Thank you for tuning in. So um, this is just a very brief update on my last video I just recorded. Um, I decided to go ahead and continue tinkering with the OEM fuel pump for my uh, Kohler KT-17, which is out of my Bolin's QT-17 tractor. Um, decided to go ahead and tinker with it off camera. And so, you know, I had ordered this cheap plastic uh, Chinese made, no name brand aftermarket fuel pump off of the Ebays, but I don't have much faith in cheap junk parts. So maybe this is a good part. I don't know. I'm not going to find out because, you know, in my last video I discussed taking, you know, this wasn't supposed to be able to come apart, but I got it apart. Um, <clears throat> I had taken this apart and discussed trying to make the diaphragm from this work in my OEM fuel pump. Now, in my last video, if you watched it, uh, I realized that this is a little bit bigger outside diameter than my OEM fuel pump, so the bolt holes are a little bit further out. But other than that, it was I checked it out against my stock diaphragm that came out that is covered in molasses. Other than that, it's basically the same exact part, guys. So I made it fit. I I made it fit, and I have it set up here in the bench vise for testing. I made it fit, guys. It fits. So, as you can see, the diaphragm is in there, and I am going to go ahead and test it now. I'm going to see about bringing you guys in closer a bit. Might even zoom in a little bit. Will it let me? No, it's not going to let me zoom. Okay, whatever. But you are, well, let me get you a little bit closer yet. Okay, guys, with where I got my phone mounted, that's about as close as I can get you. Should be good enough for you to see okay. Let's make sure you guys are level. All right. So, I have some fluid here. I've got it set up with an inlet fuel line with a little funnel and an outlet fuel line going into here. And put a little more in. If a little bit spills, it's not a big deal. All right, guys, moment of truth. Will it pump? Look at that, guys. It's pumping. Let's do it again. Yes, this is my parts cleaning fluid, um, but I'm getting some off the top of that container so there's no like chunks of sediment in there now um i will flush this out with clean gasoline before i actually use it but this is just for testing look at that guys that's beautiful got my oem fuel pump cleaned up and working let's take a closer look at it again So there it is, folks. As you can see, that diaphragm's awful large, but it works perfectly fine. Um, how long will this diaphragm last? Probably not as long as the OEM one, but at least I get to maintain my OEM uh, metal fuel pump housing. Um, little details like that, they matter to me. I, I like that kind of stuff, guys. I'm willing to put in the extra time and extra work to maintain more original parts even if i do have a non-oem diaphragm it is what it is guys um i was told that they didn't have 
a diaphragm kit for those that there's nothing like that available. Um, so I worked with what I found and those things are cheap enough that, oh, I did actually find a diaphragm kit that looks like it's the same looks. I'm going to order one at some point. So, but if nothing else, uh, you can take the diaphragm out of these and put it into your OEM metal fuel pump for the KT-17. So anyways, uh, that's pretty interesting. I thought that was really cool. I'm glad that I decided to share that on video. All right, guys, ha um, have a nice night, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.